Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock, where it's a review of the movie God of Vampires. This one is about a hitman named Frank who is hired to go try to take care of somebody for uh, for his boss named the Fixer. Well, the Fixer hires him and. Or at least something like that. I don't know. I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention. To try to go and find somebody and bring him and bring the fixer back something of the guy he's going to look for. And let's just say it's on your shoulders and above your neck. So pretty much what happens is that Frank doesn't realize that. Who he's going to be going up against is, is a vampire. So, yeah, pretty much what you would expect in the movie. There's gun-toting violence, there's gore. In fact, a lot of the gore is a little bit really out there, but, yeah. And so Frank eventually enlists the help of his uncle, who tells him all about vampires and all this other nonsense, and... They team up to try to finally, eventually, try to take out the master. Because, you know, there's at one point, uh, there's sort of a gang turf war thing going on or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Frank thinks he has the master defeated, but but yeah, he doesn't. So the master winds up uh, finding Frank and his gang somewhere else. It's down to the master, Frank's uncle, and Frank to try and take on the master vampire in which the master vampire winds up getting Frank but Frank comes back as a hero vampire guess we could say that he and the master fight but it's actually Frank's uncle who winds up taking out the master and then Frank sort of becomes blade walks into a building, there's other vampires, he pulls out a sword, the movie kind of ends, I guess, in a big fight of vampires, I don't know, again, I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention, so why did this movie suck, so to speak? There's a lot about this movie you just have to try and get through. The audio in it is really bad. There are times where there are, where there are people trying to talk and it's interrupted by loud death metal. There are sounds of everybody walking, and it just sounds extremely bad. It's, it's just the sound is a huge problem in this movie. Uh, it's not great. It's not good. Um, and it seems like this movie is kind of on a never-ending roller coaster, I guess you could say. Except this roller coaster is not, it goes up, it goes down, it's just like, it's just going, going, going in a straight line. It never seems to want to stop. Now, as you guys know, I am not a vampire fan. I couldn't really care less about vampire movies. I've had my share of ones that I liked, but then it's like, eh. And... When you kind of sort of think that maybe this movie's going to end, it just keeps going and going and going. Um, John Carpenter's Vampires, this movie is not. <laughs> but there are some pretty gory moments that kind of looks like something out of a Sam Raimi movie, so... Yeah... I think ultimately this this movie had some 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 humorous moments but I think ultimately this is a movie that I just had to say no to especially the end part where Frank kind of becomes like I said sort of like Blade and it's like oh wow seriously uh not a not a real fun movie but 
There is at one point where a couple of the guys at the bar think a couple of goth people are vampires, and I just went... You gotta be kidding. So, and the master's subtitles eventually sometimes got a little bit annoying because... Yeah, I, I guess it was necessary because there was there was bad sound issues of what of what he was trying to tell his victims. So, yeah, not exactly a very fun movie, but uh, but if you've seen it, let me know in the comments below about what you think about it. But there you guys have it—a review of God of Vampires. And of course, if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi, horror, comedy, horror, or fantasy horror movie that made you feel like saying, Oh, God, why did I watch that afterwards? Send it my way, and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.